everything I can explain about World War I in 90 seconds. So this Serb named Gabrielo Princip shot this Austrian guy Franz Ferdinand, and the Austrians didn't like it that much. Austria declared war on Serbia, then Russia declared war on Austria for declaring war on Serbia, then Germany declared war on Russia for Russia declared war on the ally Austria, then France declared war on Germany because Germany declared war on its ally Russia, and in order to get around the French defenses, Germany attacked neutral Belgium, which caused Britain to you know, blow a gasket and join the war. <gasps> this is terrible. Hello, Germany. It's sleeping time. <laughs> oh, good heavens. <gasps> Russia then advanced into East Prussia and the Carpathian Mountains. They won against Austria, but suffered heavily against the Germans. You see, Ivan, if you send men into battle without rifles, they will be inspired to kill more Germans to get one of theirs. I do not think so, General. We lost 300,000 men to the Germans at Tannenberg Forest and at Masurian Lakes. It does not matter. We still win against Austria. Then, Germany sends in August von Mackensen to help Austria. Meanwhile, Italy can't decide whose side to join. I do not know what to do. I am friends with Armenia, but I am also friends with Francia. Then Russia catches Leninitis and becomes communist. They pull out of the war. With the Russians now out of the war, two million German troops were freed up from the Eastern Front to be brought over to the Western Front. The knockout blow was about to be delivered, but something big was coming from across the Atlantic. America. America and friends then beat the living daylights out of Germany until the armistice was signed. The war was over.